Okay, so this is going to be a round broom. And I've gone ahead and put on that first row of broom corn, just like I normally would for a cobweber or a hearth broom. Okay, so what I'm going to do to thicken this up some is um, I'm going to put some short, uh, short uglies on here. How's that? And it's uh, still one of those things that I don't have to count. I'm just building this up. And one thing you'll see as you do build this up is it gets bigger. So it's uh, you got more things to more grip to put around you. And um, so this is going to have three rows of broom corn, and it just makes it wider. You get your hands around, so it helps you have big hands. Making baskets or brooms, baskets too, probably. But today it's brooms. That's what happens when you get by craft jewel. You forget what you're doing on what day. Okay, so I'm going to stick two more in here. Like I say, these are my short and uglies. And I've got my pretty separated out. Okay, so I'm going to do four rows on this, keeping her tight. Okay. And I can tell that's my beginning. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can see that first row coming out of there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take my X-Acto and I'm going to trim this up. Okay, so I've got kind of a nice watermelon, or not watermelon, pineapple. I know it's some fruit. Um, kind of luckier that I'm going to put my last row on and it's going to go up over that. Hmm. Looks like it's time for a new razor blade. Um, all right, so I'm ready for my last layer of broom, which is going to be the one that I braid. So these are my pretties. Now I always start by putting one in, and then I'll put two in. Uh, and that way, hopefully, I'll make sure that I have an odd amount in here when I start weaving it. So you want them in there, uh, relatively close, not real close, because when you start the braid, um, the closer, the more difficult. So, so you kind of, on that, that last row that you're going to uh, braid, you kind of want it loosely in there, for lack of a better term. So you don't want them jammed tight in there, but they need to be snug. Sounds like a contradiction in terms, doesn't it? Okay. A few more in here. Then I'm going to do the braid. And I won't bore you through that whole process. Um. Because it takes too dang long and then it's too long for the video to upload. How's that? So, then I'm going to do about four rows here. You can see this is getting pretty big. And I'll just start you off showing you the weave. And then I'm going to turn this off because it'll take too long to videotape the whole thing. And pretty much you got it. Okay, so then I'm going to start doing the same thing again. Bring it down. Use that finger to bring it over. And pull tight. Got to make sure that you have an odd amount of stakes. Or this will not work. First row is always a little bit confusing. 
Okay, so I'm just going to keep going until I can't go anymore, and then I'll tie that off. But that is the basic logistics of a round broom. More rows of corn. 